Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show that reveals the secrets and mysteries of car audio and teaches you the techniques to take your installs to the next level. I'm your host, Mark. In this episode of the Building Better series, we're going to cover a solution to a problem that many custom fabricators have faced for years. As you know, in custom installs, we often use these custom insert shapes to highlight or accent areas of an install. But the problem we've always faced is how do we create a consistent contour that transitions around that shape with body filler. In the past, the method was to simply apply body filler with a spreader card and then run the spreader card along the filler, thus creating a contour. But the precision of this contour was based purely upon how steady your hand was. This oftentimes would lead to waves in the contour, which would mean you'd have to apply another layer of body filler and then sand it again. That's time and that's money. And on top of that, the only way to really add any sort of curvature to that contour is to bend your spreader card. Again, this is difficult to do and inconsistent. But lucky for us, there's a new tool that we can use to solve this problem, and it's called the Smart Spreader. Let's take a look at how we can use the Smart Spreader to create contours like these that are consistent, and we can do it as efficiently as possible. To start things off, let's take a look at the Smart Spreaders. As of right now, the basic set includes six different contours. Each of the contour cards includes two different sides. One is for a half inch material, and one is for a quarter inch material. The Smart Spreaders come with a blue film on them. I like to remove it and then cover it with painter's tape to protect it from the body filler. There are two basic requirements in order to use the Smart Spreaders. First we need a baseboard, and then we need either an insert or another surface to form the body filler up to. I made this shape and the inserts using the true arc templates from Mobile Solutions. You can see that in another video that's linked down in the video description. Now I wanted to show you how I actually protect the smart spreaders using the painter's tape. What I'll do is apply it to one side, simply cut it out with a razor blade, and then flip the smart spreader over, apply tape to the other side, and then cut that profile out as well. I find that this allows me to easily clean the smart spreaders. This way I will be able to use them many times. Now as I will actually be wrapping these pieces and there'll be a separate colored insert, I need to allow a gap for the material. So what I do is apply this foam tape to the edges of the insert. Now what's awesome about this particular foam tape that's available from Mobile Solutions is it's the exact thickness of vinyl. And since I'm going to have two different layers of vinyl here, I can simply apply two different layers of the foam tape. Now that each of these inserts is protected, we can start applying our body filler. For this project, I'm going to be using the Matter Filler from Sonus Car Audio. This filler is made specifically for this application. If you'd like to see my review video, again, check out the link down in the description of this video. I start this process with applying the body filler with a normal spreader card. I'll proceed until this edge is completely covered with the body filler. We then very simply apply the smart spreader and pull it evenly and slowly, like so, creating the contour. I then use my normal spreader card to clean up any excess filler. And just like that, we've created our contour. Now I actually use the five other contours to add on to these five additional sides of the inserts. The idea here is that I'll be able to use this demo piece in the future to choose which contour I want to use when I'm in the middle of a project. Let's let this filler dry for about 15 minutes and then start sanding. Sanding the body filler is typical of any process, but I want to point out that I really like how the matter has this different coloring when you sand it. You can see that the dark spots are low spots, so we know that we need to keep sanding in that location. We sand all of the contours with 60 grit, and then we follow up with 120 grit as we will be wrapping this with vinyl. Now that the body filler is completely smooth, we'll carefully pry away the inserts. We'll then peel off the tape, and then as you can see, we have these nice smooth transitions. As I began wrapping this practice panel with the vinyl, it became very obvious that these different contours would really show up. In the past, all of my contours on a panel like this were the same. But now, using these smart spreaders, I have a selection of different options I can use. To be sure that we get the full effect, I press in my finished insert pieces. Here we have our finished panel, and it will work great to check out the selection of the different contours in the future. 
Let's take a closer look at all these different contours. On the right side we have the large curve. You can see that it radiuses out quite a bit. Then on the left side we have the medium curve which is just a little bit smaller of an ellipse radius. Here we have two of the smallest contours. On the right is the actual curve contour and on the left is our first of the straight contours. Now I want to point out that I did actually find that these two contours took the least amount of time for sanding, so perhaps if you were doing a quick project those are the contours that you'd want to use. Finally here are the medium and large straight contour. Now as you could have guessed, these use the most body filler, but I actually like the way they look the best. These contours seem to add a little bit more of a flow to the panel rather than a hard edge. Having these different options for contours is awesome, and using the smart spreaders will really help you take your car audio fabrication skills to the next level. Now I'm curious on your input. What do you guys think is the best looking contour? Or do you think it varies too much based on the install that you're doing? Let me know in the comments below. Overall, I was very impressed with the smart spreaders from Mobile Solutions, and I look forward to using them on all of my future projects. Now, if you guys would like to try out the smart spreaders in your next fabrication project, Mobile Solutions is currently offering a buy one set, get one set free offer exclusive for Car Audio Fabrication fans. So be sure to let them know that Car Audio Fabrication sent you. All right, guys, thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.